All right, what's going on guys? Today, I am going to be giving you another video with a youth athlete that I've been working with for quite some time now. He's gonna introduce himself, but I am gonna go over what we really wanna focus on when you're looking at youth sports, right? Now, the kid that I'm actually working with is a boxer so it is a little different but it always kind of correlates the same when you're talking about building up a base of athletic performance now the focus points again like i said is building a base we want to make sure we're enhancing balance we're increasing coordination and we're also increasing strength and body awareness you're going to be doing what's called gpp or general physical preparedness right i have a couple of videos on it you can check it out on my mentorship program i go in depth on this particular aspect of training. But for now, we're just gonna go ahead and tell you that it's using basic movements with exercises to increase readiness, right? So I'm gonna be using things like jump rope, drop jumps, hurdle hops, med ball throws, sled variations, things that are gonna be very efficient for the athlete to do, but give them the opportunity to be successful when it comes down to enhancing the quality of performance. As far as the basics, right? So we wanna enhance his eccentric strength. So we wanna increase his deceleration and we also wanna increase his ability to absorb force. That's gonna give us the overall ability to produce force and redirect it going further. We also wanna work on low level plow metrics for tendon stiffness and elasticity. All right, especially as a boxer, he needs to be bouncy. He needs to be able to move around, get in and out of the pocket, and also allow for his body to be able to absorb force. And then again, like I said, redirect it. So we are gonna be using those particular exercises and I'm gonna be going over it inside the, inside the workout itself. So stay tuned and let's do this. Hi guys, my name is Asher Hashmi. I am 12 years old, I'm an amateur boxer, and uh, this is my favorite strength and conditioning coach, Phil Drew, and I, uh, let's get into it. I paid him to say that. <laughs> oh, I wish. <laughs> well. Good, now roll through, and then sit up. Yup. Now sit up, when you sit up, spread your legs out so you can stretch your hamstring. Stretch and then roll back again and let it flow. Good, now roll back. Good, try to keep your legs straight though. Good, hand inside, hand inside. Yeah, right there, good. Stretch your hip flexors, chest up. Good, hold position. Now, you're gonna go dynamic, you're gonna switch. Switch, there you go, good. Now switch again, other side, switch. Switch, switch, and take your left arm and rotate it up. Look up at the ceiling, good. Back down, do it five times. Good, back down, again, back up, back down, back up, good. Turn your foot in, good. One more, back up, good. Switch sides, how you feel, all right? Activation. First, right, we got range of motion, then we activate the muscle. Now we're gonna do dynamic work, right? So we're gonna go faster. Now, give me some ankle rocks, right? So we're gonna go heel, toe, heel, toe, all right? Let's get 10 of those. Just warm up your ankles. Rock back on the heels, pressure into the big toe as you drive forward, right? Propulsion, right? So drive on the balls of your feet all the way to your toes. Good. Flex, push, flex, push. 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, relax, good. Okay, now I want you twisting your hips now, all right? So you can use your arms a little bit. Twist, there you go, good. Good, stay on the balls of your feet, stay in one place, stay in one place, try to stay in one place. All right. So I want single leg, all right? Single leg first and we're just gonna hop through. So we're here quick, quick, quick. Low amplitude, you don't gotta get up high, all right? So it's quick, ready, go. There you go, keep going, go to the cone, go to the cone. Good, relax, good. We're gonna face this way now. So you're going inside, so you're here, quick. That's it, that's it, that's it. Keep going, keep going, all the way. Good, switch it. All right, so right now we're just priming his lower limbs, his ankles, his calves, right? Primarily what we wanna do is we wanna work lower amplitude and then we're gonna go up into higher amplitude. So now he's working on just increasing his ability to absorb and also redirect and what he's doing now is in each box, he has to stabilize his body. So he's trying to connect it all together. 
Good. Stick. Up. Stick. One more. Stick. Now we're going to work on faster dynamics. Okay, here we go. Come on, smash. Let's go. Boom. 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 All right. Good. Good. All the way through. Get up. Control it. Too fast. Too fast. Right? Get up higher. Right? Try not to go through it too quick. Good. Good. All the way through. There you go. That's it. Good. Get in that box. In that box. In the box. Relax. We're going to go lateral. All right? A little bit in more. I forget he's like two feet tall. It's a little bit weird when your best friend is tall. And you're... That's all right, though. That's all right. You know what I, you know what I go to is always going to be. He might be tall, but he can't whoop me. That's it. Good. Switch. There you go. Balance. Good. Switch. Good. Load that hip. Load the hip. Good. That's it. Push. You're going to push to the 45. And you're going to do a quick cut lateral. Okay? So it'll be quick. So I'm pushing hard. I want you to get up. Push up. Boom. Stick. Up. Boom. Stick. Up. Boom. Stick. Push hard on the left. Quick. There you go. Up. Quick. Good. Up. Quick. Get up higher. Up. Quick. That's it. Good. Get up for a little bit more height. All right? A little bit more height. Stick. Push. There you go. Push. That's it. Up. Push. Okay, now we're going to go the opposite. You're going to go quick 45, and then you're going to redirect as high as you can. So it'll be here. Boom. Boom. Okay. Quick. Boom. Boom. Okay. Stick it up. Quick. Up. Good. Quick. Up. Get up there. Get up there. Quick. Get up. That's it. Good. Quick. Get up. Nice. Quick, up, good, get up height, get up for height, get up for height, come on. Quick, up, you're just coming down and you're sticking, okay? I just want that for five, okay? Give me five. Flex the foot, stick the landing, stick. Flex, 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 stick. Back there, that's better, right there in that position, okay? Do it again, I want you to sit, sit in the position, I'm gonna put you in the right one. Sit back a little bit more, there, right there. Okay, good, relax. Best one yet. All right, good. Okay. So you're gonna drop down. As soon as you land, jump up and then stick. Okay, that makes sense? So as soon as you land. No, nah, no, nah, you're just gonna jump down and then jump straight up. Okay, let's do it. Flex, get up, stick. Good, do it again. Arm motion, give me more arm motion, okay? Up, stick. Good, sit back, sit back. Good, right there. Quick now. Boom, up, stick. Good. There you go. Good. Do it again. Give me a bigger push. Flex. Stick. Push. Okay. You're landing too wide, though. Remember, it's starting to get out too wide, right? We got to get our legs underneath our hips here so we can push. Better. Okay. Land a little bit more narrow. Don't think you have to push so fast. You're already thinking about the push before you land. Don't do that. All right. Land first and then go. There you go. That's better. Do it again. Good. Okay, relax. Perfect. Good job. All right. Get some med ball throws, huh? What we're doing now is he's going to have to catch the ball, absorb that catch, and then redirect it going backwards. So I'm going to throw it down at the angle. He has to stop that momentum and then redirect it going backwards. Here we go. Come on. So get ready. I'm going to throw it down at your hips. Ready? Hit it. There you go. Good. Go get it. That's it. You ain't got to sprint. You ain't got to sprint. Gotta love the kids, man. Sprint to the ball. Go give me the ball. Man, if that's it, it was like a 30-year-old MMA fighter. They'd be like, come on, man. What are, what, are, what are the interns at? Nice. Good. Make sure, come here. Make sure you throw it as hard as you can. Think about power. Okay? It's not about, it's not about too much speed. I want you to be reactive, but think about just producing as much power as possible, right? Extension of the hips and then flexion of the shoulders, right? Boom, throw it all the way back to try to get it to the wall. All right, let's do it. Ready? That's it. That's it. That was good execution. You just got to grab it. Huh. There it is. Good. Oh, there you go. That was the best one. Do it again. Three more. Oh, good. Two more. Good. Sit down into it more. There you go. Now throw it. There you go. Rotate through. Good. Use your hip. That's it. Do it again. Hip. Two more. Take your time. Go. Good. One more. Okay, relax. Good. Up here. And almost like 
keep your shoulder blades down, right? Lats on, and I want you pushing through here, okay? Stay low, okay? Stay low, there you go, right there, hold that position. Good, just walk back, that's it. All right, so now he's doing some basic sled dragon variations. We're gonna go ahead and do a back pedal here. Um, primarily what I'm gonna work on is, again, GPP, we're just getting him strong. We're giving him the ability to move load and not hindering any type of, uh, any type of efficient movement quality that he could be gaining. Also, I'm not actually loading his spine right now, um, just because, again, we wanna first develop a base of strength in his legs and his hips. Um, and also we are working the lower body today. So primarily gonna be doing some sled variations for the lower body, but you can also use the sled for upper body. And I got some videos on that too as well, if you wanna check it out. And if you wanna find out more details on the sled variations, mentorship, link in the bio. Also, I have a lot of sled variations on all of my programs. Link is also in the bio too as well. Stay in a good position, come on. Again, sleds are the most underutilized tool for me, this is something I will not go without, especially for youth athletes or any type of GPP, general physical preparedness. This is something that we use to help increase strength, to help increase mobility, to in help increase endurance. Something I will not go without, and it's cheap. When I was coming up, all I used was a tire and a rope. And I drilled a hole in a tire, put a hook through it, and there I had my own sled. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. All the way, all the way, all the way. All right, guys, so there you have it. It's a wrap. If you want to find out more details on this mentorship, it's going to be in the link in the description. One time fee, you get access for life. Also, body armor, my eight week body weight only program is also available. Link it is, is in the description. Come here, smash. Hit Make the... sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And, and we'll see you next time. All right.